Nicholas, Sunlight Girl, Jean Luc's the Loomer. This is a massacre! Who could have done such a thing? Uh, well. You did. You turned into a Hallion. I remember. It was me. I went out of my head, tore my beloved treasures apart, and... And now they're gone forever! that made you turn into a Hellion. I'm sure it's hard for you, but can you tell us about it? Well, I've always had a real big thing for art, you know? <laughs> Moved in here a good long while back. Oh. Got to whittle my days away, just people watching and gazing at fine art. I wasn't worshipped or nothing, but I weren't lonely neither. Sounds like a good life. I was happy. <laughs> Real happy. the countries took to fighting, <laughs> humans started to get real nasty. That country's bad, they'd say. That country's art is bad. Slash it. Burn it. So they used art just as fuel for the fires of war. It's true. And that ain't the half of it. <laughs> That's when they started to move the art on the black market. Oh, so that's where it all went. They were laughing and clutching their money in their, their grubby little hands. Hooray for war! Hooray for profits! I got so mad, so dejected, I felt my anger bubbling up, but I was beyond caring. And then... That's when I became a Hellion. It's not your fault, Attack. Thanks, son. I appreciate it and all, but I'd like to be alone for a little while. thought that the source of all that malevolence would be the love of art. Yeah, that was unexpected. It's the Kingdom of Highland that caused Attack such pain. If only I had been able to do something. Malevolence can come from anyone's spirit. Especially when that spirit holds hate for other people. And for us Seraphim, the influence we receive from the vessel in particular can be a danger. So if I started generating malevolence, it'd put everyone in danger? All of us could become Hellions. <sighs> Saray, Alicia, the people in their despair cling to those with power that surpasses theirs far more tightly than you may imagine. Do not undervalue your ideals, nor the things that are in your power to accomplish. A shepherd's emotions towards the people he rescues are also his greatest enemy, in a way. Okay, 
Understood. Didn't she just tell you not to be so stiff and serious? Oh, I guess you're right. <laughs> but I suppose I don't need to worry about you. We'll get started so you don't have to. Just doing what's within our power, right? Shall I help you carry those? No, I'm just fine. A history of Monmouth culture and the works of Sir Geoffrey. Wow, it's the first time I'm seeing them. These are valuable books. I'm hiding them away so they don't get lost or destroyed in the war. Oh, then all the more reason I should be help- It's fine. It's a classified location. Don't tell anyone about this. It's to protect the books. Something's up. You think so? Don't you? She was all excuses and we didn't even say anything. I certainly never heard of any such secret library. I guess something like this is right. <sighs> I understand you wanting to trust her, but something's wrong. Kinda funny to bury books in a graveyard. I'm similarly concerned. Let's hide and observe. All right. Don't kid yourself, Agatha. That's worth a thousand at best. Who's there? You're... So you lied to us about protecting the books? <sighs> it was always just my daughter and I barely getting by. I couldn't even give her one happy memory before she died. Haven't I suffered enough? Can I not have something good for once in my life? Malevolence! We're taking these back. I'll be turning you into the guards for misappropriation and theft. <laughs> I always knew someday this was bound to happen. The malevolence is fading. I don't need this anymore. Do you think you can return it to Naif for me? <sighs> Catching her quelled the malevolence? That's probably what she wanted deep down, to be brought to justice. Well, I guess that proves that she really did love books after all. Earth dwellers are such a chore.
sure is a lot of gold lying around out there. Finished all the preparation. Preparing the gel. Guess that's all the hellhounds in town. The epidemic here should settle at least a little bit now. Yeah, but only momentarily. It was not done in vain. The malevolence has subsided considerably. Feels like the malevolence has been lifted somewhat, don't you think? Indeed it has. But we still need to find a way to bring the drake down. Saray, can you head to the base of the Great Tree? Huh? Oh yeah, sure. What do you plan to do, Edna? Wait here. For whom? <sighs> For me, silly. I wonder where Edna went off to. Who knows what goes on in her head? Ah! I'm back. What is wrong with you? Huh? A attack? I'm here to help! Her tell you folks can be using an extra jolt of power. We just might. If I combine attack's power with my arrows, we can bring down the drake! Edna told me that y'all are trying super duper hard to fix things up. If this glum bum town gets back on its feet, folks might finally remember the place of art in a civilized society. Thank you, Edna. I just thought it might work. And here it comes. Drat, it's so dark, I can barely see it. That's a good thing. You can fight without worrying about humans catching sight of you. Hey, good thinking. So, how exactly should we go about shooting this thing down? That I don't know. Tonight's supposed to be a full moon. All we need is some light. The clouds are receding. Let's look for a place where we can aim our shot with the aid of the moonlight. This is it. Attack! 
You got it! Norman Power! <laughs> he ranks! That's some power you got there! I can only handle one shot! <laughs> Hmm. One shot is enough. Saray, I'll do the aiming. Right. And I'll pick when to fire. Now! Nice! Drake is this big and this strong? You can't be serious. He should know the difference in size and scale a dragon has by now. We are here to do whatever must be done. That's right. As we are now, oh, we can do it. Whatever. Try not to die out there. Just a drake. Sure, we might not be strong enough to beat a dragon yet, but... Yeah, we will get there someday! The flames of purification. Might you be the shepherd? So, you must be Marlins. Guardian Seraph Rohan. Or should I say, I was. I very nearly became a dragon. I have no right to continue protecting this town. Don't say that. Seraph Rohan. I am Alicia Difta, Princess of the Kingdom of Highland. It is we who must bear the blame. We who corrupted the hearts of the people and set you on the path to becoming a Hellion. But I assure you that I shall set things right. If you must punish anyone, let it be me. So please, if it's still possible, let us have your blessing just this once. You're an impassioned young princess, I'll give you that. You can see me? Yes. I have pledged myself as Soray's squire. Have you? And you're okay? Huh? Uh. I see. The malevolence in town has lowered significantly. You're the one who dispelled it? We all did. Hmm. Then so be it. I'll extend my blessing. I want to help too! Thank, Thank you, you so much. 
It appears the corruption has yet to spread to this tree. Using this as a vessel, I shall expand the Blessed Domain. You got it! Norman Power! Huh? What's this? What happened? There's still a mega-powerful Hellion running around near here. The domain it's creating is in the way, and we can't stop the invasion of the Lesser Hellions. A major Hellion? Where? To the southwest. It isn't far. Saray, we must defeat it. But if we leave the town in this state? With your guards all a-sleeping and your Hellions all a-creeping? Saray? Sorry, I just blinked out for a second there. You need a rest. In. Now. Indeed. Good ideas will surely come after we take a breather. Hmm. The young shepherd's starting to deteriorate. I ought to be more understanding. Deteriorate? Lila, darling! Why, there was... Let's... 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 Let's